Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel. And what do I have for you today? Well, this here is the Diatone Tyrant S. A very nice quadcopter in my humble opinion. And uh, last week I did a video on how to add an OSD to this quadcopter. Uh, that worked out just fine. However, somehow my video editor uh, decided to uh, leave a part of the video out. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, it's the part uh, in which I show you how to set things up in Betaflight. So the flight controller uh, talks to the OSD. And um, I had a part in which I told you how I set my OSD up. Uh, somehow that was uh, missing from the video. Uh, yeah, uh, so sorry about uh, that. Uh, quite important, I think, especially the beta flight setup, the ports uh, configuration. So um, here is a short update video on that, in which I show you again how to set things up in beta flight and how I have my OSD set up. And after that, we'll do a uh, FPV flight with the quadcopter again as well, because that's what the quadcopter is for, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Alrighty, beta flight. I've already connected the quadcopter via the USB cable, so we can connect. There we go. And uh, oh, and in case you wonder why there's no uh, calibrate accelerometer in, with this quadcopter, that's because that's because come on, the accelerometer is disabled in this quadcopter. They've done that to uh, lighten the load of the processor, which is actually a hundred percent. Yeah, I've probably set this to high pit loop frequency. Let's see what that does. Okay, uh, well, uh, whatever. I'll <laughs> take a look at that uh, later on. My processor load is still a hundred percent. I'll probably have to reboot. Um, anyway. Um, so this is why you don't see a uh, calibrate accelerometer in the front uh, in the setup page. Uh, this is also why you can't use uh, the auto level flight modes in this quadcopter stock. You can of course engage uh, enable the accelerometer here if you so want to. Anyway, ports. This is how I've set my ports up. Uh, the serial RX is now on its dedicated port, which is uh, apparently UR3 over here. And the data from the uh, flight controller to the VTX is this port over here. UR2 transmits uh, flight uh, data, flight data. Well, uh, the data your uh, OSD uh, could display to your VTX. So that works. Then you can go to the configuration again. If it's not enabled already, you need to set a VBAT on. And that way your flight controller uh, knows what your uh, flight LiPo's voltage is. And it will also be able to transmit that to your OSD or your VTX. It makes no sense to enable the current meter as with this Tyrant S the uh, current doesn't flow through the flight controller. If you have this quadcopter you know what I mean. So you won't see amp draw in your OSD regrettably. It would have been nice but you won't see that. And that's it. Uh, yeah, Obviously you can't set up your OSD in Betaflight itself. It's not an omnibus setup. Uh, so we'll uh, have a look at that uh, with its dedicated uh, OMW program. Alrighty, the next thing we'll do is have a look at the configuration of the OSD itself. So I have now connected my uh, USB cable to the VTX itself. And we need uh, the MW OSD software for this. And the uh, GUI Archikide. Let's see, it has seen COM5 apparently. Okay, I'm connected. And um, okay, we want a call sign, at least uh, I want a call sign. Uh, Dutch RC, there we go. 
and well basically I am kinda sure that we won't see an amperage so I'm gonna disable that and where can I enable the call sign oh <laughs> here there we do have got a call sign and where does it display oh there okay we've got a flight time that's uh, okay and we've got a battery voltage and I'd like a crosshair in the middle let's see there that should do and does it do uh, artificial horizon okay um, basically this is all I need yeah I want a voltage a call sign and a flight time and a crosshair in the middle so this is the OSD setup I want to use at least and um, with that all said and done let's go and fly the, the crap out of this <laughs> quadcopter here we go <laughs> Woo! 